My name is Greg Steer. I'm the founder of Dare to Share, and we train teenagers how to share their faith, how to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. One of the things I've noticed is a lot of teens, and adults for that matter, don't share their faith because they don't exactly know how. They don't know how to bring it up. How do you actually get into a spiritual conversation? Or maybe they know how to bring it up, but they don't know how to explain the gospel. So I'm gonna give you a very quick crash course in how to share the gospel. So how do you bring it up? It starts with a simple strategy called ask, admire, admit. You ask questions, you get to know somebody. Jesus asked a lot of questions. Uh, we need to ask a lot of questions. We need to love people by listening to them and uh, kind of find out who they are, what they're about. And then you can take the turn towards spiritual subjects. You know, do you go to church anywhere? Or do you have a spiritual background, a religion that you uh, believe? And, and as they begin to share, you find areas you can admire. For instance, maybe they're a Mormon. Say, well, you know what? I, man, I really appreciate you guys focus on the family or see your missionaries everywhere, hard at work. Instead of starting an argument, find areas you can admire. And then finally admit the reason you're a Christian is you're so messed up you needed someone to save you, and that someone is Jesus. And right there, you can tell your story of how you came to Jesus, and then you can share the gospel story. And at Dare to Share, we use a simple acrostic that I would really challenge you to memorize, all right? Because it walks you through the whole gospel story. G-O-S-P-E-L. G, God created us to be with Him. God loves us, He cares about us, He made us to be in a relationship with Him. And that, oh, our sins separate us from God. Because we sin, we're separated from God. He's pure and holy and righteous, and we're not. And there's a wall between us and a holy God. And that S, sins cannot be removed by good deeds. Uh, you know, you can try living a good life and going to church, uh, but it just covers up our sinfulness. It's like putting white frosting on a burnt cake. P, paying the price for sin, Jesus died and rose again. That Jesus died in our place for our sins on the cross. It's almost as though if you're walking across the street and a truck's coming at you 100 miles an hour and, and somebody sees you're about to get hit, you don't notice that truck, they run out, they push you out of the way and boom, the truck hits them instead. They would have died in your place. In the same way, the wrath of God was headed at us, but Jesus pushed us out of the way and he took the hit instead of us. He died in our place for our sins on the cross and he rose again. Now E, everyone who trusts in him alone has eternal life. It's not by trying, it's by trusting. It's not a matter of good deeds, it's a matter of what Jesus has done on the cross. So you trust in him, you receive everlasting life. And L, life with Jesus starts now, lasts forever. You enter into a personal, permanent relationship with God. So walk through the gospel, and then two closing questions. Number one, does that make sense? Uh, if it doesn't, explain it again. If it does, move on to the next question. Then is there anything holding you back right now from putting your faith in Jesus? If there is, deal with that something. Try to help them navigate through that. If there's not, right then and there, they can put their faith and trust in Jesus. You can lead them uh, through a prayer if you'd like, saying a prayer doesn't save anybody, but it's a nice way to kind of put an explanation point on the gospel of telling God today, I believed in Jesus. And obviously after that, we want to get them plugged into church and growing in their faith, not because they have to to go to heaven, but because they're going to heaven. So how do you bring it up? Ask, admire, admit. Memorize the G-O-S-P-E-L, go through the gospel. Those two closing questions, does that make sense? Is there anything holding you back right now from putting your faith in Jesus? So now you got a crash course in sharing your faith. Now I challenge you, go and share the good news.